hello hello hi everyone hope you are doing well so in this video i will talk about devops uh, devops is uh, a software process which is uh, very used nowadays in companies devops is considered as a continuous software engineering uh, life cycle and uh, during the presentation i will talk about the key enablers of uh, devops uh, the different uh, phases of uh, DevOps uh, lifecycle, the continuous activities of both uh, development and uh, operation phases. And I finish the presentation with uh, showing uh, the tool chain of uh, DevOps in uh, 2021. So let's get started. So for the definition of the DevOps in literature, we, we find uh, many definitions uh, and uh, there is no standard definition. Uh, some uh, consider DevOps uh, as a methodology, some consider DevOps as uh, an IT movement uh, and uh, other consider it as a paradigm or a set of practices. So from existing definitions, I uh, retained two uh, definitions. Uh, the first one is given by Michelson Joan, who uh, defines uh, DevOps as a methodology that tunes uh, functions of software development and production and operations into a single integrated and continuous uh, process. Uh, the second definition is for uh, given uh, is uh, is given by Bass and All. Uh, they define DevOps as a set of practices intended to reduce the time between committing a change to a system and the change being placed into normal production while ensuring high quality. So personally, I adhere to the first definition. I consider that DevOps is a software engineering method and I already classified DevOps as the generation or the last generation of software engineering. Uh, methods. So you find in this video the classification of DevOps and the other software engineering uh, methods. Don't hesitate to, to watch the video. Uh, now for uh, key enablers uh, so of DevOps. So you have to know that uh, DevOps is uh, closely related to many uh, fields. The first field is the lean thinking field and uh, inherit, it inherits many paradigms from uh, lean thinking paradigms. The first one is about the value creation paradigm. So in DevOps, only features or development step uh, uh, which add value are considered. So the rest is considered as, uh, as a waste. Uh, the second paradigm of lean thinking is the continuous flow paradigm. So we find many continuous uh, flow activities uh, in uh, DevOps, uh, during the DevOps uh, process. Uh, in particular, uh, the continuous improvement uh, paradigm of Kaizen who advocates uh, the step-by-step -step improvement and denounces uh, the Big Bang improvement. So continuous improvement is included in uh, the DevOps uh, process. Uh, the, the last uh, lean thinking paradigm or the paradigms which are included into uh, DevOps are automation and building quality. So uh, automation uh, cover all uh, phases and all activities of DevOps in order to speed up the time to market. Uh, we find also many automation uh, automated tests uh, and uh, those tests are used to build in uh, quality. Uh, the, the, the next uh, uh, field for which uh, DevOps is, uh, is closely related, uh, we find Agile. So uh, DevOps is an evolution or extension of Agile principles and values to operations. Uh, DevOps also enhances uh, existing roles in, in Agile to take into account operation activities. And the third uh, field uh, to which DevOps is uh, closely related is the cloud computing uh, field. So the integration of DevOps into cloud minimizes the cost related to on-premises DevOps automation technology and deliver uh, a centralized governance for an effective DevOps process. 
so now we, we see, uh, get a look uh, uh, to the life cycle of uh, DevOps. So after planning, uh, the development phase includes the creation, the verification, and the packaging of the build. And for the operation phase, it includes the release and the deployment of the release, the configuration after the, 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 the deployment of the release, and the monitoring of the, the, the release, the deployed release. Okay, so let's see now the, the, the different uh, continuous activities of development and operations uh, phases. So for the development phase, it includes continuous integration, continuous deployment, continuous delivery, which are very and uh, commonly known, but, uh, but the development phase also includes uh, the continuous verification and testing activities, continuous security, and continuous uh, compliance. Uh, for operations, we find uh, that the operation uh, phase includes the, uh, the continuous use, the continuous trust, and the continuous runtime monitoring. So now we will go into detail with those continuous activities for development and operation phases. So let's start with uh, the continuous activities of the development phase. So for the continuous integration, it includes compiling code, running tests, and building deployment packages. For deployment or continuous deployment, it uh, it's about continuously deploying software builds uh, to production uh, environment. This kind of deployment is performed automatically. For continuous delivery, it's about delivering the build to the release repository. If we want to, to, to deploy the, the, the build on the production environment, so we, we need a manual intervention or a manual validation. For continuous verification, so it's all about formal methods and inspection, uh, which are included throughout the development process. So uh, for continuous uh, testing, so contrary to verification, which is performed throughout the development process, the, te the continuous tests are performed at the end of the development process in order to reduce the time between the, the introduction of error and their detection and then we can eliminate roots, uh, root causes. We continue so with, uh, with uh, continuous activities of the development uh, phase, and we find the continuous compliance. Uh, it's about satisfy regular uh, regulatory compliance standards on a continuous basis, uh, rather than operating a big bang approach to ensure compliance. And for continuous security, so rather than an, a non-functional requirement, uh, this continuous secu security is treated as a key concern, and this throughout all phases of the development life cycle. Uh, for continuous activities in the operation phase, so we find uh, continuous use. Uh, it the continuous use, it recognizes the initial adoption and continuous use of software decision are uh, uh, as, as uh, based activities on different, uh, as based on different parameters. And the customer retention can be a more effective strategy than trying to attract new customer. For continuous trust, uh, this continuous trust is developed over time when the vendor acts cooperatively to fulfill customer expectation without exploiting their, their vulnerabilities. And finally, for continuous runtime monitoring, uh, so uh, it's all about runtime behavior of all kinds uh, that must be monitored to enable early detection of quality of service problems. So that's for continuous activities for development and uh, operation phases. Now, if you want, uh, there are other approach who, which are proposing a holistic view of continuous, uh, uh, of continuous uh, software engineering life cycle or of uh, DevOps continuous life cycle. So uh, those 
approach add to development and operations phase a business strategy phase which includes uh, which includes uh, continuous planning and the, the 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 communication or the 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 relation between business strategy and development is called uh, bizdev this whole or this holistic view uh, have to ensure two uh, things which are continuous improvement and continuous innovation so uh, now let's see the devops tool chain so for the planning and communication uh, phase we find jira team uh, microsoft teams and the slack for source code uh, code management we find uh, github bitbucket and gitlab for build we find uh, bamboo team city and jenkins for testing and quality, we find Sonar Cube, uh, Selenium, and Apache GMeter. For configuration and management, for configuration management, we find Chef, Ansible, and Puppet. For deployment, we find Octopus Deploy, Spinnaker, Argo. For threat and vulnerability management, we find Twistlock, Sysdig, and uh, Anchor. And for logging and uh, monitoring, we find Neju, New Relic, and Grafana. So uh, this is not the whole list of uh, tools. Uh, those tools, uh, there are, we find many other tools, OK? Uh, but uh, this one is an updated one or a given one of uh, a recent one, OK? Uh, the, 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 ch the choice of uh, those tools depends on the, the developer, on the company, and on uh, cloud providers. So Google Cloud is different, a little bit different from AWS and uh, from uh, Azure. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. And uh, don't hesitate to like, to share, comment if you have any suggestion, any question, and don't hesitate to subscribe. Thanks a lot.